All right, you guys, people are getting stuck in their Teslas left and right when the power fails. Just check out this news clip. It's scary. It's very unnerving to say the least. Diane's not alone. There have been numerous reports of Tesla drivers being trapped in their car when the battery dies and all the electronics shut down. Now in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about some common causes of why that might happen. And then we're also gonna show you how to get out of your car, whether you're in the front seat or the back seat when power does fail. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, you guys, before we actually go out to the car and show you visually how to get out of there if power is lost and the doors won't open with the buttons, I first wanna to talk to you about a couple of reasons why the, uh, the car might actually shut down and you might lose power inside of the cabin. And the first reason is gonna be the high voltage battery isolation contactor fails, okay? So if the main high voltage, high voltage contactors fail open, the car's system immediately shuts down. While the high voltage battery runs the car, the 12 volt system still powers locks and electronics. But if both drop out or the DC to DC converter fails, doors stop responding. So that's one reason that, the, that you might lose power inside of the cabin and the doors won't open. Now, the second reason you might lose power inside of the cabin and your doors won't open is gonna be due to an electrical fire or a short circuit. A thermal event wiring short or fire can cause Tesla's safety systems to cut power instantly. This means doors, windows, and screens may go dead in seconds, leaving only mechanical releases. So there is a mechanical release inside of the car doors that is there for you. The location of these emergency latches are in different places, whether you're in the front of the vehicle or the rear of the vehicle. And again, we'll show you that when we get outside. That is another reason why you might lose power inside the cabin. The third reason that you might lose power inside the cabin and, and unable to open the doors is due to a severe crash or a collision event. In major impacts, Tesla may cut the high voltage and 12 volt power to reduce fire risk. Normally airbags deploy and unlock the doors, but if the unlock signal fails, you could still be trapped inside. And this is why you need to know where the emergency latches are. The fourth reason you might lose power inside of the cabin is due to water flooding inside and shorting electronic components. Driving deep into deep water can short the electrical systems. Both the high voltage and 12 voltage batteries can be disconnected by safety systems, instantly disabling electronic latches. So again, uh, water and electricity don't mix well together, right? So that could cause you to lose power inside of the cab. Okay, the fifth way that you may lose power inside of the vehicle is due to a software firmware crash. This is pretty rare, but it's been reported. Complete MCU lockups where doors and windows don't respond to button presses. If this is compounded by the low 12 volt battery, the car may not respond to touch inputs at all. This includes the touch screen as well, not just the car doors. And the sixth and final example that I can give to you on why you might actually lose power inside of the cabin and the doors may not open on the button press is due to thermal shutdown, okay? So excessive heat or extreme cold can knock the systems offline, like a frozen 12 volt or a high voltage relay can do that. Even if the high voltage pa uh, pack is fine, the support systems like relays, converters, and fuses may fail and cut down power. All right, so those are about a half a dozen reasons why you might lose power inside of your Tesla Model S or any other uh, Tesla model. And without further ado, um, let's go ahead and go out to the Model S and we'll show you how to get out of the car and where these emergency latches are and we'll demonstrate that for you. Let's head on outside. Oh, there's my baby. All right, now we're inside of the car. Now I wanna make it really clear, this is not a real life situation. This car actually has power. If that day ever comes, uh, you would absolutely, <laughs> I would absolutely turn the camera on on my, on my phone and I would start recording to show you how to get out. 
But hypothetically, let's just say the car uh, is powered off. The screen won't come on, the air conditioner's not blowing, there's no uh, images here in the instrument cluster. And I come over here to this door handle and I push the button and the car does not open. What do I do? Well, that answer lies right here. So right here is the emergency latch button, okay? Let me show you what that looks like from the bottom. So this is that latch that I was pointing to. This is the bottom of it. So as you can see, you can actually get your finger around that and you can pull up on it. But I'm not gonna do that from this angle. I'm gonna bring the camera back around and show it to you from the top angle so you can see the whole door. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and demonstrate using this latch. The only reason why it's the Tesla warns against using this latch on a regular basis is because when you push the button electronically, <clears throat> before the door actually pops open, the window slides down just a little bit and that prevents uh, putting stress on the window. So when you use this emergency latch here, okay, the window's not gonna slide down a little bit and it does put some stress on the window, okay? So there, there's a really, really small chance that you could break the window in some fashion. But without further ado, let me get a good angle here and we're just gonna go ahead and pull that emergency latch. There we go. Voila, I'm out, okay? So, regular, regular power electronic opening. Manual cable release, emergency only. Beautiful, okay? And because the, there is still power in the car, I, I, the window is actually um, sliding down just a smidget. Uh, but if there was no power, um, that the window would not do that. And you could see here, look at in, inside of the uh, inside of the cluster, it's kind of warning you against this, right? Manual door release used may may cause damage to the window trim. So again, emergency is only. So that's how you get out of the front. Also, it's the same for the passenger side window, okay? The, the latch is in the same exact place. Let me show that to you now. So this is the passenger side and you could see that latch is there. Now, the emergency latch for the rear doors is a little bit different. So let me go ahead and show you where that is located now. All right, now I'm in the back seat of the car and uh, let, me, let me go ahead and show you the door handle real quick where the window button is because the window button is in the same place as it is in the front doors. So here's the window button, right? This is how you put the window up and down. And as you can see, there's no emergency latch right there, right? No emergency latch. So where is it? Well, you gotta actually look down and in between your legs, so but that is it right there, right where my hand is. Actually, this is the latch itself. Basically, since we know that there's no emergency latch on the door itself, where is it? And you actually have to look down below. So I'm pointing the camera into the other seat here. As you can see, I'm still seated, but you actually have to look down, okay? And right here, I've uncovered the emergency latch. Typically speaking, this is covered by this little flap here, right? So, so that little cutout in the carpet is where the emergency hatch uh, kind of hides. So what you have to do is you have to pull this piece back and then you can grab the latch here. So I will pull that latch now, hand on the latch, And I just popped open that door. See the crack right there? Let's see. Yep. So let me close that. All right, now I'm about to get out of the car because I had to turn the air conditioner off so that it wouldn't drown out the mic noise. So let me get out of here. All right, so that's how you get out of the Model S if you uh, are stuck with no power. Once again, in the rear seat, 
You'll find it right down there. Let me get a little focus on it. Beautiful. And then the fronts right there. Now you can see that a lot better with the sunlight, but that's, that's the latch right there. All right, you guys, that's all we have for you in today's video. Thanks for watching. If you thought the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.